what's going on YouTube it's been a while thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for all the nice comments that you all put so I promised I'd be sending sorry posting a video of what I've done to my Chevy HHRSS uh, it's been probably like three years since I posted the first video when I first bought this car so um what I did was I lowered it all right and uh, it came out really good so if y'all want to see how it came out here we go <laughs> all right are you seeing that Okay, so if you looked at the video that I posted, the original video that I posted, I first bought this car in 2016, then look at this one and you'll see a huge difference on how the car sits. So this kit I bought was through ZZ Performance. If and you guys own the HHRSS and you want to lower it the car is in much need of being lowered I would recommend the kit that I bought and this would be the Eibach oh my god I think it's a Sportline kit so if you just want to see how it sits now it sits much better you might be able to see oh <laughs> maybe not on. Let's get under the car real quick. Let me show you guys a picture real quick of what they look like. There we go. All right, got it. So they are red. Not, I don't think you see that one over there, but anyway, that's what they look like. All right. came out really good I and mean, I'm really happy with it okay can now can you see how nice that came out I'm not sure if you can tell by the video but I did lose some toe on the front end can you kind of see like how the front wheels kind of tilt inward a little bit nothing you can do about it all right that's just how it is so what I recommend is, is get on ZZ Performance's website, look up lowering springs, and get the Eibach lowering springs. I think it's a sport line. It's been a year since I did this, but definitely came out good. You're looking at like seven hours of agony if you do this. So if you're listening right now, I just want to warn you. I mean, it's hard work but it's worth it. it. Took me seven hours to do this last September. <laughs> okay, so you'll probably get like, I think you get like a one and a half inches drop in the front. I think it's one and a quarter inch drop in the back. That's how it comes out. Okay. If you have any questions about this lowering spring kit that I bought, be sure to message me. Okay, I'd be more than happy to answer any questions about it. If I can do this, then you can do it. I did this right here in my driveway. The hardest part is back here. <laughs> when you have to, actually you can't see it, but if if you try doing this, the hardest thing would be loosening the bolts that hold the shocks on that was the hardest part the part they thought would be the hardest was the easiest that's the front just take the struts off take the springs off with compre like about the, those can those compression spring kits spring came right off put the new one on no problems just be careful it's dangerous but all right so moving on I also change the headlights out on it this really came out good 
So nice. So take a look at my headlights now. Got rid of the ugly original headlights that are in the car. I think they're 120 bucks on eBay. I think going to my garage. There you go. Here's a nice picture of it now. It's like brand new lights now. Okay, so I'll take a shot of what it looks like from the back now, lowered. Yeah, what do you think of my sticker? <laughs> okay, so back on the headlights. Do something else to my car. Let me pop the hood real quick. So, like I said, I replaced the headlights. Also, did an LED headlight conversion on it. Highly doubt next year. There's no way you're gonna see these. No way. All right. Okay. Actually, you might. Okay. Look really close. Can you kind of make? Can you make that out? Anyway, uh, there's there's LED headlights in it now. Ah. <sighs> And the fog lamps are LED also. So if you want to see what they look like, lit up. <laughs> wow, I've never seen that. Alright, what do you think of that? Not bad, huh? They're pretty bright, too. Very nice. Okay, so if you're wondering, if you like those headlights you just saw, that's what you get right there. Hikari LED headlight kit. Okay, that's what they look like. That's the box they came in. They, they have cooling fans, pretty nice. Okay, so let's go to ZZ Performance's website real quick. If you are interested in lowering your HHR and using the kit that I just that I used on my car that you just saw. So let's go to their site. Let's look up their um suspension and brakes. There we go. Okay. That took a moment for some reason. Uh, let's see here if I can find the springs that I used. Those might be it. Hold on. They went and updated their web page, which I can't stand when they do that. There they are, right there. Okay, so go to zzperformance.com. Okay, go to suspension and brakes. I believe that's where we were. Scroll down until you see that right there. They're the Cobalt Ibox Sportline Lowering Springs. Whoa, they went up in price. So they're $229.99. And I personally wrote my review in there. So let's see if I can bring up my review real quick. <laughs> Something's up with their website. I don't know why they won't. Okay, so... They will work on HHRSS, I guarantee you, okay? That's what they, they look like that on the website, but they obviously they, they're red and black, which I was pretty happy when I saw that because they matched my car. Okay, so they're available. Let me see if I can, there we go. Okay, so that's me. I'm Show J 92 all right? So when you get a chance, read the review that I put. I put a detailed review of what I went through last September, put in that kit, and it was agony. <laughs> Every single body part hurt <laughs> when I was done, but, you know, good results. Okay, so there's that. 
Okay, now if you're interested in the headlights I bought. Alright, so if you want those same headlights for your HHRSS, that's what you do. You go to Amazon, and right there, this is what you want. The Hikari LED Headlight Bulbs Conversion Kit. Okay, uh, I believe our car, I think it's, I think we have 9,000 fours. It has to be, because um, they're in my car. Okay, so they're 40 bucks. Yeah, let's, let me just make sure that. Uh, double check your car. I, I'm almost positive our headlights are H13s, I think, 9008s. Just make sure you check. All right. Okay, I decided to help you guys out some more. So let's let's make sure we have the right bulb size if you guys decide to do this. So Chevy HHR network, that's a great network to go to. If you need, ever need questions about your HHR, oh my God, that is the best. Okay, so let's see your bulb replacement numbers. Okay, there it is right there, first one. Okay, so make sure that you get the H13-9008, okay? So remember that. Hang on. Let's go back to Amazon. Yep, and just as I suspected, I don't know why it's chosen, but you want the make sure that you choose H13-9008 and you can hit this down arrow right here. And there it is right there. Okay? I, I would highly recommend it because they're so nice. I mean, a complete difference in how they look. Okay, if you decide to do what I did, if you want, if you want your fog lamps to look like your headlights, if you do this, I'd, I'd recommend it too because there's a big difference in how they look. Do this. I bought the Oxbeam H11. Oh... Uh, my God, they put so much crap when they describe these things. Anyway, these are the fog lamp bulbs, okay? You see that? <laughs> they should just put aux beam, fog light, <laughs> all this crap right here. All right, so those are 20. They're in my car right now. They look really good. And uh, let's just make sure we have... Let's go down to fog driving light bulb size so they are the 9140 or h11 so we need h11 and that's what i bought right there okay so let's make sure that uh amazon's not going to do something stupid okay yep do you see that right there click your down arrow just make sure that you choose like what i chose right there h11 All right and they're still available You'll love them. I'm telling you, they look so good. Okay, so I hope that was a helpful video for you guys. Hey, uh, just let you know, <laughs> that's a brand new engine <laughs> sitting in there. Uh, a year after my first video that I posted for this car, the original engine in this car blew up on me when I was in Virginia. Virginia Beach. And uh, that is a brand new engine through ZZ Performance. I'll tell you all about that sometime. See how nice and shiny that is? Brand new turbo, brand new radiator. What a time that was. <laughs> so. All right, so if you guys have any questions at all about anything in this video, you know, be sure to uh, question me on it. I'm more than happy to help you out on it, okay? So that's basically it right now. Hope it was a good help. Have a good day, everybody.